Hey guys, this is Lacey Lady Barber and I'm going to share with you some hot tips on cutting your own hair. The first thing you want to do is make sure you gather all your supplies. So you'll need your clipper, trimmer, guards, a comb, and of course a mirror so that you can see the back and side of your head. Before starting, make sure you wash and dry your hair. You'll want to make sure that your hair is free of product so that it won't bog down your clipper. And wet hair isn't good for your clipper, and it can actually pull on your hair instead of giving you a nice clean cut. This happens because when the hair is wet, it tends to clump together and it tends to clog within the blade. And now we're ready to start our haircut. I recommend starting on the sides and the back of the head first. Don't know which attachment comb to use? Start with the highest one first and work your way down until you get the desired length you're looking for. As a general rule of thumb, anything from a finger length and above, you can start with a number five. If you want shorter length, work your way down from a number four. Now the number three attachment comb is the shortest length that you can use before starting to see the scalp. So use these recommendations when trying to figure out the length that you're looking for on the sides and back of your head. Okay, now let's talk about the top of the head. If at all possible, avoid cutting it. Leave it long, try to control it with product, or even change up your style. If you must cut it, my recommendation would be is to stay away from scissors. Scissors can be sharp and dangerous to handle. It takes years of practice and discipline to be able to handle your scissors safely and prevent you from cutting your knuckles. Also trying to create balance on the top of your head with scissors can be very difficult. It is a process that takes lots of discipline and understanding of the technique. It's better to leave it long than to make a mistake that's gonna be difficult to address in the future. To follow a guide on how high you should go on the sides and the back of your head, you'll want to put your hand against the head at the height you want your hair to be and simply cut to that point. This will stop you from cutting too much by mistake. The best place to stop is once the head starts to curve away from the side. Take the clipper and gently glide it up towards your finger and curve away from the scalp. Make sure you're working one panel at a time. When cutting the back of your head, make sure you're facing away from the mirror and use a handheld mirror so that you can see the back of your neck. To keep all of the hair out the way, you may tie it up in a bun or clip it out of the way. When working the hairline, take the trimmer and follow the natural hairline as opposed to creating a brand new line. The key here is just to keep it nice and clean. Tap at the hairline and pull away as opposed to pushing into the hairline. This will keep you from cutting too far into the hair. Use the trimmer to clean the sideburn by pressing it flush against the skin at the height that you want it. You can also clean any unwanted hairs along the face. Use an electric shaver to get a nice, smooth finish. This tool only removes stubble, so it's important to trim the hair down with the trimmer before utilizing the electric shaver. You may also use it to clean up around the beard line or remove any facial hair. Remember, when cutting your own hair, less is more. It's not about creating a full-blown transformation. These are just some simple tips to keep you nice and groomed. 